Hello again. We are back with the Losers Finals, Betty B versus EB Motto. This is a rematch from earlier in the bracket uh, where uh, Betty had very close games against EB Motto. It was a 3-0 in EB's favor, but uh, it was not... Uh, all of the crowns that we watched were incredibly close and could have gone either way, so that I think that this match is not a done deal just yet. Uh, let me give the players their readies and then we will be off. Players with identical openings, even Motto getting a one pill advantage here on the startup of that round. But otherwise, outside of the garbage, they're taking much of the same decisions. Betty is going to take down this ugly looking Spire in a column five and try to rapidly set up another combo. You can, I can tell she's really trying to turn up the speed. She knows against TB Model, she has no choice. She really has to. She's going to slide this blue red in here, though, for a nice little lightning bolt. Players keeping pace with each other. But uh, he'd be finding some setups that are crowding things on Betty's side of the board here. She's going to try to set up a red L here. Oh, but it's going to be partially blocked. I think she has to take this horizontal. And she's going to probably have to take a yellow horizontal as well, I think. But she does turn into a setup. This garbage assault from Hebe is incredible. Hebe Motto, uh, a player from Japan who does not make regular appearances at the monthly, and, and fair, fair enough given his uh, his time zone <laughs> and the time he has to get up to compete, so the fact that he's here is uh, is pretty incredible and I welcome it. Betty is almost at the top of her board! A double yellow would flail her out, but this blue gets right in the path. Oh, I don't know what she can do here, this is ridiculous. She's gonna try to make the yellow horizontal and the last pill! That she could get, she will get it, but this is just, uh, this is just a horrible position to be in. I don't know what she can do here. <laughs> PB is not letting up with the combos. He is showing everyone what he can do. But he needs a blue to complete this T. She's going to drop it in. But she's she, she very little, very little space, very few options. She's basically going to hope she gets, have to hope she gets the right pills at the right time. In order to complete the the one maybe setup that she can actually get to try to get back into this, but even if she digs her way out, I don't know how she's gonna come back. She's gonna have to hope for uh, Hebe to make a crucial mistake or something like that. Ah, but she still manages to find a quad setup at the top of the board, and it's gonna block off Hebe Motto in several spots here. But he's gonna find a triple anyway. And I think Petty just misdropped and, and had to give it up. That's 1-0 for Hebe Motto. What incredible pressure. Wow, Hebe finding an incredible setup. Both players. Wow, but he did fall behind Betty there. She managed to get her setup off first and, uh, and then send an additional combo to him. And so she's going to now try to snowball this advantage to see if she can get a foothold against Hebe Motto. Wow, garbage right at the top of Pimi Mata's board. He takes his setup down to stay alive. He's gonna delete a pill in this column five, risking death to stay alive. Meanwhile, Betty's bored. Wow, I, I don't know if she's if this is an intentional roof strat on her part or, or if uh, column one just got away from her there. In theory, that's not gonna be a huge issue. As long as she can get column three down and just open up the left side of the board again, then uh, she may end up being perfectly fine. And, I think Hibimoto was questioning whether or not to hold out on his huge T. He could have done it one piece earlier, but he 
he sat there and let it fall, trying to decide whether or not he wanted to knock it down. I would love to know what his thought process was on that one. Head Blitz from Hibimoto, and he's going to take advantage of that. Is he going to find any setup she can, but now the right side is looking incredibly crowded. This double red is going to help her bring things down, though. if there are setups to be found, then Betty might be okay. But she is going to need some very specific pills, I think, to get out of this one. And these blue-yellows are not it. She needs the red-yellow. Fortunately, her setup is taken from her. And Hibimako is just not giving up. He's relentless with his combos. Just setup after setup. But Betty's not... No slouch in finding uh, setups herself. He now sort of has an idea to maybe eliminate uh, the blue virus in column 1 horizontally and maybe open up the left side of the board again, and she will take that. Anything to get a little more room to breathe against the onslaught of combos from Hibimato. Finding another setup in, in this pit uh, in the middle of columns 5 and 6. Garbage will give her an automatic combo and maybe a red horizontal opportunity, which she will take just to chip things down just one row at a time if she has to. Betty is ahead in virus count, as is to be expected. Hebe model is well known for ignoring virus clears at the expense of just more combos. He has a bit of a roof set up on the right side here. More of an umbrella, if you will. I don't think I don't know if we can call it a roof until you've achieved the full roof on both sides. Until then, maybe it's maybe it's just an umbrella, but who's to say? The PB's board's starting to look a lot more open as even more garbage will fall, but it will give a setup to uh, an auto combo to Betty. To, says Don in the chat. You know, we've always been pretty democratic when it comes to naming these things, so who knows? Put your suggestions in the chat, and I'm sure we'll all come to a general consensus at some point. It's fine. Maybe finding incredible setups in the center of his board. Uh, Betty is honestly, uh, not in an unwinnable spot, I would say, but it is looking very difficult for her right now. PB just has so much more room to maneuver, um, and her left and right sides are just double wide. Uh, there's just she just has so many less options to combo PB back that uh, it's going to be an issue. Not to mention what the end game is going to have to look like to come back from this spot. He's gonna find a quad. Unbelievable. And another. Maybe just will not, will never stop setting up. And honestly, that is probably the way it should be. Any stop, anytime you stop comboing, it's it's a sign of weakness. And your your opponent jumps on that, then. Uh, uh, that could be uh, the beginning of a comeback. This board is fully popcorned at this point. He's gonna get a nice drop cross though. That was that was an awesome combo. Betty is holding her to try to get this horizontal setup. She just needs to make sure she doesn't knock it down and, and, and block herself off the rest of her board, but she's running out of space and she's running out of time. Before she can even top out, Ibimoto will clear his final virus and take this 
He is going into game three on match point. <laughs> Almost identical opening for about seven or eight pills there. Betty looking for an L, but it gets blocked off by an opportune piece of blue garbage. Oh, she's gonna get a fat log here. And then she will finally get her L, but her column five is not looking great. This is absolutely crazy. She's fighting to stay alive here. She will finally bring down column five. Eevee now, though, looking for a yellow T. He's gonna need that. Makes the cross into a drop. Now looking for another gigantic blue T to knock down. Setup looks so scary. He will finally. Oh no, Betty will top out. Could not handle the pressure. That's going to be 3 0 to Hebe Motto. Congratulations to Betty. A tough opponent, to say the least. Hard to, hard to fault anyone for falling to that, but uh, well done by both players. That is going to set up our grand finals. We are going to see if Hebe Motto, our hero, can take it down. The boogeyman of the monthly checkup snipe in our grand finals. Stay tuned, everybody.